Greetings, and welcome to this episode in the series of videos on LiDAR with ArcGIS Pro. This series is brought to you by AmericaView, in partnership with the College of Natural Resources and Environment at Virginia Tech, the Virginia Cooperative Extension, and GeoTED UAS. I'm Cherie Auckland, and I'll be your guide. This chapter introduces the use of ArcGIS Pro with LiDAR data and the two different project templates that can be used, Map or Scene. We'll add and display the LiDAR data previously downloaded and demonstrate the navigation tools for both Map 2D and Scene 3D. Let's begin by opening a new ArcGIS Pro project using a Map template. Map templates are two-dimensional or 2D representations of data. They can be used to display LiDAR data, but it limits processing and display options strictly to two dimensions. Go to the Map tab and Add Data. Navigate to the folder with the LiDAR data for Mesa County, Colorado and add all three Mesa County LAS files. Here you see a new set of tools, last dataset layers, with its own tabs, appearance, data, and classification, in the title bar. We'll discuss these in subsequent chapters. These red lines indicate the footprints of the LiDAR tiles. Remember that LiDAR data files are large, even when covering a small area, so ArcGIS Pro may only show the footprint of the LiDAR tiles at full extent. To navigate, you can use your mouse buttons and wheel and keyboard shortcuts shown here. Right dragging on the display zooms in and out continuously. Notice as I zoom in, the individual points begin to display. ArcGIS Pro does not display all of the points. That would take a tremendous amount of computer resources, but you can change that setting, and we'll talk about that in subsequent chapters. To identify a point, just click anywhere in the LiDAR point cloud. To pan, Drag anywhere in the map viewer. You can also navigate with the Explore button on the Map tab. Hover over Explore, and you'll see the graphic I just showed a minute ago. Be sure to practice with all of these and choose the tools that you're comfortable with. Let's go to the View tab to find another form of navigation, the Navigator. Click on the button to toggle the display of the navigator in the map viewer. Clicking it again turns it off. The pointer on navigator initially points north. This little up arrow will show additional functions. To rotate the image to the east, drag the box on the inner circle to the right. Practice by rotating back and forth. The plus and minus buttons are zoom in and zoom out. While functionality is limited here in 2D, the Navigator tool would be the primary source of navigation when working in three dimensions. Point your map north by moving the north arrow or using the shortcut Shift-N. Then toggle the Navigator button in the toolbar to remove it. Let's expand the symbology for the LiDAR tiles. Here symbology is stretched, but each last file has a different range of values. Zoom in to one of the boundaries between two tiles. Because the tiles are separate and the values within each tile vary, the symbology does not exactly match, and when viewing the point cloud, the two tiles are distinct. Use Identify to look at two points right next to each other, but one in one tile and the other in the neighboring tile. The two points are very close in value. We'll demonstrate in the next chapter how to combine multiple tiles into one to avoid this symbolization disparity. We're done now with LiDAR tiles using the two dimensions only map template. A map template can be useful to become familiar with data or determine if the data downloaded covers the precise area of interest, for example, but LiDAR is most useful in 3D. Let's move on to LiDAR using a local scene template. Go to Insert, A New Map, using the Local Scene template. This adds a new tab to your display area. The first difference from a map template is in the contents. 3D layers, 2D layers, and elevation surfaces are included as default layers. Let's add all nine LiDAR tiles from North Dakota.
The North Dakota tiles look very different from the Mesa County, Colorado tiles. Each LiDAR acquisition is different depending on the project. As with the Mesa County, Colorado tiles, each North Dakota tile is distinct from the other. Expand the symbology under a couple of the last files. The symbology values for the color ramps vary because of the variation in values by tile. The next chapter explains how to manage this variation. You can use the same tools to navigate with one exception, which we'll talk about in a minute. Watch the spinning circle in the lower right-hand corner while navigating. It'll change to a refresh icon when the points are finished loading. Depending on the point density, it may take a while to load the point cloud when zooming in. As in the map template, clicking points in the map viewer will identify attributes for a specific point. Zoom in to the area of the northwest corner of the southeast tile. Click on View and turn on the Navigator. Expand the Navigator. Navigator gains some functionality in the 3D Local Scene template. Point to the east side of the outer ring. The east triangle turns blue. And clicking on the blue triangle rotates the scene so east is at the top of the map viewer. Experiment with the outer ring settings, but then reset so that north is at the top of the viewer. Navigator also now has an inner circle inside the inner ring. This is called the target. We can tilt the scene by pointing to a position in the map, holding the mouse wheel down until you see the target, and drag to tilt the scene. How it tilts depends on where the ball moves outside the target. When the scene tilts, the center circle and the inner ring inside Navigator tilts as well, providing an additional visual for map orientation. It takes some practice to accomplish 3D navigation, so be sure to practice. Features are now identifiable in the point cloud. Multiple buildings, silos, and trees are seen here. You can also tilt by dragging the inner ring. Dragging the center sphere moves the target around the landscape. Find this location using your new 3D skills. And remember, when zooming in and out, the display needs to fill in the point cloud, so be sure to wait for that refresh icon to show up in the lower right-hand corner. What is this linear feature? Maybe a tree-lined road? Let's take a better look. Display an absolute horizontal view, also called a profile view. Notice that Navigator's inner sphere is horizontal. Finally, you can change some of the options in Navigation to suit your personal preferences if you like by going to the Project tab, Options, and choosing Navigation. You may want the mouse wheel to zoom in when you go forward and zoom out when you come back. You can change all those options. This concludes the introduction to LiDAR and ArcGIS Pro and Navigation. The next few chapters will introduce tools available under the last Dataset Properties section of ArcGIS Pro.